What's going on my fellow travelers? Welcome back to No Man's Sky. We have a big day today because a brand new big update just released. It's called the Visions and in case you were unaware of this, it was actually leaked like 24 hours ago and everybody was like out of their minds when they saw this and it definitely looks awesome. I saw the trailer. It's absolutely magnificent. The stuff that it's in there is absolutely crazy. A lot of good stuff in there. We have new biomes, new encounters. We have old sorts of atmospheric effects and yeah this just breaks the list by the way as there is much much more but the best news is that this update is released right now you can go ahead and check out the update page on the official No Man's Sky website and in case you didn't do that already we're going to do it in today's episode so No Man's Sky visions it looks absolutely spectacular and yeah let's do it let's start with the intro discover a more varied more diverse universe in the visions update introducing new planetary biomes more colorful worlds new fauna archaeology salvaging and much more so it already looks impressive as heck and if you didn't check the trailer already then i urge you to go ahead and do so because it's absolutely awesome we're going to break it down probably in a separate video if this one doesn't go for too long but uh, if not I'm going to try to cover all of this in today's video and yeah if not I'm going to release two shorter videos I'm not really sure but we are going to go with all of these updates and I'm going to start with the cover image by the way which looks freaking cool I mean we see a couple of never seen before additions to No Man's Sky one of which being this structure which I have no idea what it is it looks like a piece of flora and there is a lot of that in the game there there's like a lot of new additions in terms of flora in No Man's Sky and this is just one of it like there's a lot of dangerous stuff not really sure what significance this one has but it looks a little bit technological with all of those shining lights I'm also seeing like some sort of small round cylinders not really sure what this is but it definitely looks freaking awesome we also see the terrain being a little bit more wild than usual I mean there is a huge crater over there probably with something underneath and I think this is a part of the archaeology the new archaeology which we will see in just a second so yeah I'm going to move on to the next one this again showcases the new type of flora it looks pretty freaking awesome all shiny and lighting over there and uh, yeah let's start with the new planetary biomes it pretty much reads new anomalous planet biomes create a weirder more diverse universe to explore and it definitely does that I mean we're seeing some new structures over here that we have never seen before and this is definitely breathtaking. I mean, this structure, not really sure what it is, but it definitely looks like Vitralium. Um, I'm not really sure if that is a correct terminology to use in English, but it definitely looks freaking awesome. And down here, we see even more freaking alien stuff. Like, we have this huge tentacle, round spheric object. And again, I think this is just a part of the overall background. I don't think they really do much. But we also have new alien structures in there. We have new types of creatures, or at the very least I think these are creatures they definitely resemble something like that I could obviously be wrong but there's so much new stuff added in there that it's really hard to like make an entire list of all of this so I guess we're gonna have to like play a little bit to see what it is but uh, yeah one of the new creatures are obviously the underground spike thing is that you can see here on the ground I'm not really sure what they do but if this isn't close to the sandworms that we were requesting I'm not sure what it is it looks pretty freaking cool and not really sure what type of interaction there is with this thing can you like excavate it using your multi-tool can you interact with it does it do damage to you but the new creature section reads bizarre creatures have evolved on anomalous planets bringing new life and movement to these eerie landscapes and you can also see a few icons over here or some sort of new environmental objects they look pretty sweet we have these crystals that you'll see in just a second I'm pretty sure that the one on the left right here with all of those holes in it we had that before on anomalous planets but uh, you will see later on that you can even get these and put them on your base that's how cool it is but probably the most noticeable of them all is the brand new cool looking helmet that I'm not gonna lie I am completely in love with it even though it kind of looks like a toaster but yeah it's a space toaster I'm not really mad it looks freaking awesome then we have new lush diversity and the universe has become more alien vibrant and exciting to 
to explore. New Shades of Sky and Grass enables more unique worlds and a more diverse set of science fiction aesthetics. At first glance it might look like something you already saw, I mean the shade of orange or brownish is something that we kinda saw, but if you look a little bit in the background over there you can see a lot of colors for the grass, like we have green and the orange or brown, I'm not really sure what this is, it kinda looks like brown, uh, orange, brownish, it might be just on my end but that's how I see it right now, maybe even the lighting is a little bit contributing to that. Moving down we also have some other types of biomes, but yeah again this kinda looks a little bit similar to what we already have, like this turquoise here in the middle is something that I don't think I saw in the previous updates, at least not from the next update onwards, and it kinda looks like the blue planets but it's a little bit more on a turquoise shade, so that's what I'm thinking. The rest of these pictures I'm not really sure if they are new, I am pretty sure that the blue one on the left side is something that you typically see on frozen planets, while the one on the right side kinda gets covered with all of that lighting over there, it kinda like washes out the color a little bit, but it kinda looks like a desert planet with a lot of new flora being added to it. Water variation is also something that we're getting and new types of waters create stranger worlds to be discovered both above and below the surface, and in this picture you can clearly see some red water, almost like Kool-Aid, but I would like to think that it's actually red because of the blood of the enemies that you have killed. Nonetheless, it looks pretty freaking sweet. As long as I'm seeing some watercolor variation, I am more than pleased because I find the default regular colors of water a little bit lacking. So this is exactly what we needed. Probably the next best thing would be to add some better water physics or revamped water, but so far so good and the update is looking amazing. Atmospheric types and rainbows, we have rainbows in No Man's Sky ladies and gentlemen and you can see a rainbow in full effect in the background over here on the right side of the screen. I wonder if there's going to be like double rainbows, that would be like super awesome, but so far so good, I'm liking this and it reads, atmospherics and skies have been improved and stormy weather conditions can now produce rainbows in planetary atmospheres and that is already amazing, I'm really curious what other types of atmospheric effects we have, but uh, the rainbows man, those are freaking awesome, I cannot wait to see the new screen archery that people are going to produce, so yeah, looking forward to that. Exotic trophies, as I've said in the beginning of the video, we also have this, you can basically add these on your base, but yeah, as it reads, exotic planets can be searched to discover mysterious artifacts which can be claimed as trophies, these outworldly objects can be rehoused in habitable bases to create a showcase of your voyages across the universe, and later down here you can even see that in full action, my god, it looks so astounding, I mean, my jaw is dropping right now on the floor even though I'm talking at the same time, but yeah, don't mind that, all I'm saying is that this looks freaking awesome and I mean it makes habitable base exploration so much better, it looks so freaking cool, it would be a shame to see an anomalous planet with beautiful formations on it and not be able to add them on your base, but now you can pretty much pocket them, take them with you as tokens of your visits and add them to your base. Archaeology is a new system added in the game and of course you can uh, find dinosaur bones, with more varied planets come more reasons to explore, unleash your inner archaeologist and search search the galaxy for planets containing the ancient bones of alien life forms complete, intact skeletons are particularly rare and especially valuable. So I guess these are some form of trade items, you can make a little bit of money off of them, but down here you can see how that looks exactly, and you see this huge pile of bones of some very awesome looking creature with some very freaking awesome looking eyes, I mean look at those, those are gems in itself, but uh, the high quality on these 3D models is definitely, is definitely like triple A award level, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it looks freaking awesome and you can excavate all of this, discover it, and uh, I'm liking it so far, it definitely brings that planetary exploration up quite a bit, but that is not all ladies and gents, this update is actually much bigger than that, so we have salvageable scrap, unearth the long forgotten remains of fallen satellites and scrap them for salvageable parts, explorers must use their multi-tools to dismantle the reinforced casing and extract valuable technology within, but risk drawing
find the attention of new challenging corrupted sentinel drones. You can also see it during the trailer and uh, it looks pretty cool. You just salvage it normally with your multi-tool and you get some awesome blueprints out of it. Then we have probably my favorite and that is the storm crystal or storm crystal. This is the section dedicated only to that and those who endure the hazardous storms that blast extreme planets can seek out precious new crystal treasures and you also see this during the trailer itself when there's like a huge storm in the background and these beautiful crystals start lighting up but these particular natural formations become luminescent during the worst weathers and can be collected by interpret explorers to be traded for a small fortune so again another means of making money at the very least danger is finally rewarding and you go there you get these items the only thing i wish happened is for these crystals to also be collectible and displayable in your base. So yeah, moving on to the varied hazardous flora and this is again one of my favorites in the game. You see this huge bulging inflated thing, I'm not really sure what it is but at some point in the trailer you see it exploding and doing damage to you. It's kind of similar to the one in Astroneer that uh, you find in certain caves. I found that to be pretty interesting but let's see what it reads and it reads New varieties of hazardous flora can be found sprouting across the galaxies ready to snare the unwary and reward the cautious. Carnivorous trap plants and bloated gas flora can be eliminated from afar or carefully approached for extra substance rewards. But here it is in full effect and it looks just as deadly as you might have thought. Um, I'm not really sure if that thing in the middle is like a trap set for poor travelers like oh look there is a deposit that I can take you go in you try to grab it and all of a sudden bam you're getting eaten your face off with those huge freaking teeth but man i'm liking these flora changes so far as long as i'm not seeing too many whipping plants i am content with this i mean this flora is definitely a million times better than the whipping plants J just saying so yeah let's move on we have sentient minerals holy jesus what is even this you shoot a rock trying to mine it and all of a sudden it grows legs and runs away jesus christ okay this is actually freaking cool certain planets now feature strange alien rock creatures who will attempt to flee the heat of mining lasers mine these runaway minerals to extract concentrated resource rewards and my god it looks freaking cool i didn't expect this one it's actually a surprise and even if you check the footage at hand you will see that whoever tried to mine this thing was just as surprised as i am right now shared community missions progress is also on the list a new community research mission allows explorers to share progress and work towards a common goal and uh, I think this was something that was mentioned before the next update went live it's finally introduced in the game but uh, let's move on to the next one the new visor and it looks like it's called the eye of the Corvax helmet it looks like the space toaster in my opinion but this is one goddamn high-end space toaster if I might add so I mean it even shows some nuclear awesome glowing parts on it, it definitely looks awesome probably my go-to helmet once I unlock it and uh, we also have some new emotes building parts and a range of fireworks to celebrate any occasion we can also see the fireworks in this scene and they definitely look freaking awesome high-end they illuminate all over the place in all of the colors available and it's just awesome also liking the flag here even though it's something that we already have but it looks freaking cool crashed freighter variations we finally get that we always had the same type of freighter crashed but now we have more models on top of it so crashed freighters are now procedurally generated with dozens of possible configurations explore different crash site layouts and carve a path with your multi-tool to retrieve the valuable cargo buried nearby so i hope it's something different compared to the usual i hope we don't just have those boxes that need like materials in order to be unlocked i hope there's a little bit of revamp going on in this regard because otherwise there's not much incentive to go for crashed freighters outside of just you know checking it for like a couple of times but now we also have the patch notes which are on the light side they're not really that big but yeah this update is mostly focused on the new additions and not on the changes so that is all ladies and gentlemen the huge new update is upon us 
visions it looks freaking awesome go ahead and check it out i'm also going to like cover the video in its entirety later on as i've kind of planned to do that first but then the patch came out so i had to do it on the patch as well but yeah it looks awesome so far version 1.75 and uh, i cannot wait to play it tell me what your opinion on this new update is what do you want to see next being added to no man's sky leave your opinions down below and also leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and I will see you travelers next time so peace out